Hello everyone, Adivan here. Today we're going to be going over my Cosmic Healer build. Basically the uh, healer I use whenever we need another healer for Cosmics. Uh, basically I, that's all I use him for and uh, his build kind of reflects that. We're not going to have any attack powers or anything neat like that. It's all going to be based on making the event go smoother and easier. So, we're going to start off with choosing our innate talent. I've been using Incandescent. Gives us uh, presence and recovery. And we're going to go for super stats. Primary super stat, of course, is going to be presence. This is what uh, controls how much you heal. For secondary super stats, I usually take Constitution and Recovery. Alrighty, now going into our talents, we're going to be taking, of course, Intimidating. It's going to be dual off of presence for shrug it off. And we're going to take uh, Prodigy next. We'll pick up last impression because it's next on the list. Prodigy is going to give us a little more endurance. Uh, as well as tireless. I can find it. Tireless. Bump up our recovery. Now, finally, I usually take survival training, which gives us overall a little bump in everything constitution, endurance, dexterity, presence, and recovery. Alright. These stats with no equipment gives us plus 24% uh, bonus healing and plus 23% bonus healing. Knock out the travel powers real quick. I just take flight. And uh, and athletics. Just for mobility. Alrighty. Uh, next we'll go with the specialization tree. Of course in the bottom we got presence. We're going to be taking three and repurpose. and two in selfless ally. Now, we're not going to need anything in domination or grandeur because that's the kind of healer we are. Alrighty. Now, here's where it gets a little more interesting. We'll be taking three in brilliance. Last two in moment of glory because we're force of will. We're not going to need the defense and we're not going to be a holder or any CC. We're just straight up healing. So we're going to take our last two here. Next, we're going to go to our Sentinel. Sentinel aura. Alrighty. Eternal Spring. Two. No, oh, sorry. One. Caregiver. One. And Sentinel aura. Three. Locks our top row. Now for up here, we're going to take Genesis 2. And moment of need, I was putting 3 in. Uh, so we're going to keep doing that. And that gives us nine higher 9% chance to get a critical heal. And critical. 
vertical heels are kind of important in the long run. Now we go to our sentry. Precise. We're going to take three. Sentry. We're going to take three as well. Now, fortify. We're taking two. And reinforce. We're taking two. So, repurpose gives us. Uh, yeah, repurpose, offensive, or, yeah. Our items now grant healing bonus. So the better items you have, the more healing bonus you have. Selfless ally, so healing a friendly target heals you for 10% of that amount, which is going to be important in cosmics because you don't have time to block very often. You want to keep the healing board on. Brilliance, critical heals, and moment of glory secondary supersats increase your critical chance which increases your critical healing chance eternal spring critical heals for, uh, for heal for additional 10% over 6 seconds caregiver strength of your heals and shield other in place increases by 4% sentinel aura 183 health over every 3 seconds and that's without any equipment in uh, moment of need critical heals by 9% and reduce the energy cost of your heals, shields, confuse, and whatnot by 20%. Sentinel Aura. Uh, this is going to give your teammates an additional 6% resistance. And this is just all these numbers may change when you, some of these numbers change when you add in equipment. Uh, the strength of your single target attacks and your shield of other players increased by 9%. Reinforce and every critical heal you gain 10% resistance. Your target gains 10% resistance, and whenever you get a critical effect from damage or healing, you gain fortify, which lasts 10 seconds and stacks three times. Each stacks increases your healing strength and damage resistance by 2%. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but all these things stack up and add. Now I'm going to go with. Presence Mastery, which gives you a little, a small shield. So every time you heal someone, heal someone, you get a, they get a small shield. And they also, the target also receives 10% additional healing received, and these effects last for 10 seconds, or six seconds, excuse me. So bam. All set up with our high speed pop, or er, yeah. Everything but powers. So now we're going to switch to powers. Now we have to take a. You have to take an energy builder, even though we ra I rarely ever use them in, in Cosmics, I almost never use them. So we're just going to select Radiance off the bat because that gives us quicker access to our high speed uh, Celestial. Alrighty. For healing, I use. For single target healing, use Inequity there. Right off the bat, I'm going to put inequity up to, to rank 2. Inequity rank 2. Boom. Now, the justice enhancement, you can now target up to 3 friends in a cone in front of you. Inequity is less effective per target for each target beyond that, so I just stick with rank 3. I'm going to pick up a area of effect heal here in a moment. Now, just an equity. All right, conviction. All righty. Adds a small AOE cone, so we're gonna pick up that up first. And rank two. So basically, wherever you're standing, you're gonna get a small uh, AOE heal, and which will help out the, the players around you, especially if you're standing in a stack. It just makes it easier for everybody involved. Alright, from there, I'm going to pick up Illumination. And I just usually leave that as a rank one. Alright, and Compassion. Now, there are other toggles out there, but overall, when this stacks up, when you're in a stack of, of people and 
add in stacks of compassion it really boosts up your healing good so that's what we're going to take and for conviction I'm going to bump that up to rank 2 so I just start off you know what, I'm going to hold off and save those for later might need them for something else alright so now we have our, our basic heals now we're going to go to our AOE heal Our AOE heal, we're going to use. Alright, where is it? Arcane Vitality. This is a cone heal, heals everything in front of you. And right off the bat, we're going to bump that up to rank 3. Now, I'm going to look at these real quick. Impart Freedom. Uh, now remove control effects at the end of the full maintain or mystical gives arcane vitality chance to apply and refresh all stacks of mystify and we're not doing going that route we're just going straight healing so healing boom alrighty uh, oh yeah pick up circle of radiant glory while we're here if I remember which stack it's in Circle of Radiant Glory basically it heals or it doesn't, it's a self res power. Basically, if you're standing in a circle when you get knocked out, it'll bring you back up. But it also has a neat little uh, healing effect on it. So if you tap it, you're going to heal 80. Er, yeah, it doesn't say on here because it's bugged, but there is a heal effect on here. So See, summon circle at your feet, defeat five, you should revive. While circle summon, you can tap this power to move it. Location heals targets at its old location as well as its new location. So if you move around a little bit and you tap that, you'll heal at two locations. So it's another area heal. And I'll say this heals other players more than it will heal yourself. But we're going to bump that up to rank three as well. So when I'm standing in the middle of a of a, a mob of people, I'll just tap conviction as well as rating glory, and that'll heal the people behind me and to the sides. And I'll use arcane vitality to heal the people in front of me, in between me and the, the tank. Alrighty. Let's uh, see here. We're gonna go find our. Redemption is our uh, is our res power. Actually, we're gonna hold off from that. Now let's do the, the little more confusing ones, but not really, I guess. We're gonna do the slotted passives. Our uh, our auras, our major auras. So we're gonna pick up Aura of Arcane Clarity, which everybody loves. Aura of Primal uh, Primal Majesty. And finally, our Aura of Radiant Protection. I don't pick up Heaven Destruction. Remember, we're healing and group protection. Uh, there'll be a, someone else will pick up the other ones. And we're going to bump all those up to rank 3. C, AOPM, AORP. Alrighty. Next is kind of interesting as well. We're going to pick up a shield power, throwing a shield onto people. It's uh, usually pretty handy uh, prior to going into a fight. You'll just click on the person, click on the power, throws a nice little 
three to five thousand hit point shield depending on how you have it set up. Alrighty. Like I said normally just leave this on uh, rank level one. One of the advantages you could take is expel impurity, allows protected people to burn or remove a burn or bleed of the most <laughs> with the most duration left when applied. So if someone gets hit with a bleed, you throw this on them and it'll get rid of it for them. I also take uh, force shield because I like the, the force sheath effect afterwards. And that is force shield. Force sheath. Now we're going to go, we got, should have two powers left. I want to try to find our self-heal or self-res, rebirth. Rebirth. So this is a second get up off the ground power. And that keeps you front, or keeps you up off the ground and helps you get back into the fight quicker. power redemption gets our people up off the ground and back into the fight I'm going to give this a rank 2 and salvation which is reses up to 4 teammates within 25 feet Alrighty. And now we have two points left over. And we'll put. I usually either put it into bumping up force shield to rank two so it gives you a little more survivability or force uh, or protection field. But today. Yeah, I think we're going to put it into. Really compassionate rank one. We're gonna put it in the force shield. And there we go. That is the basic build. Now we throw all these little high speed pieces of gear I picked up randomly. Constitution of 58, presence of 654, 46% bonus healing plus 64% bonus healing, and 72 for recovery. Now our our healing is pretty massive. Not as high as some of the others out there, but it's still pretty good. Let's see how big our shield is here. 3,000. 437 and conviction gives us another over 1000 hit points so not too bad let's see for our inequity going to heal with no stacks of uh, compassion 2304 hit points Arcane Vitality, we're going to heal for uh, six o or 806 every half a second, so 1600 a second, which isn't too bad. Now, I said with Ranks of Compassion and everything all stacked up right, and everything slotted correctly, it'll be more. So, if you want, I'll show you a video on how I have everything set up to make it easy to use. You just I have a, the builds built up here. I'll just reorganize them here in a minute. But uh, that's my healing AOPM, so Primal Majesty. This one will be healing AOAC. Heal a, healing AOAC. Then we have healing uh, AORP. There you go. 
So basically, if someone, whoever, whatever we're missing, if there's a bunch of people with AOPM, I'll switch to AOAC. If we, if our tanks are struggling, I'll switch to AORP, just so we can put everything together. In the next video, I'll show you how we go through healing at a uh, Kikatilic. Thank you much.